One of the three of development pillars under Governor Robert Agarobe's vision to drive the central province economy is agriculture. This is simply because masses can be involved in agriculture. The main proponents to drive this are readily available. They are land and labor. With 97% of land still owned by locals, and 85% of our people live in rural communities with the right support from the government to achieve economic growth. My government stands ready to support community initiatives which will enable people to have money in their pockets. The central province is the province that supplies the majority of agricultural produce to the markets of Port Moresby and David Agarobe, the governor, says they are improving the state of agriculture in the districts. A one crop per district concept, where we said we will do rice at Kairuko, uh, cocoa in Abao, coffee in Goelala, and livestock in Rigo. So if you look at this, these are, these are big commodities that you can store for long periods of time. With the one crop per district concept in place, the same idea is pushed down to the level of the farmers with a one crop per farmer concept as well. To support the everyday farmer, we are pushing the one crop per farmer concept. That means if you're growing banana, just stick to banana. If you're growing pineapple, stick to popo, a pineapple. If you're growing popo, stick to popo. So what we wanna do is mobilize the 97% of our land by coming out of a subsistence type lifestyle into a commercial lifestyle. Anyani Corporation Limited, a subsidiary of Central Province Holding Limited, was established to be the vehicle to support and drive agriculture throughout the province. The central provincial government is continuing its efforts to encourage farmers cultivate the land. Agriculture Minister John Simon joined Governor Agarobe to visit farms in the Mekeo area. About 3 million kina is now available for interested farmers to access. But in that way, we, we do away with all the paper farmers. There will be none of those corn deals who just carry proposals and go around and get money. We will now be dealing with genuine farmers on the land. So this is how we've structured the, pro the, provincial, the, the provincial program. With the establishment of the provincial government business arm Aniani Corporation, the provincial government is pushing its effort through the one crop, one district concept. While betel nut is the preferred money generation for most villages in Mekeo, the provincial government is encouraging other crops as an alternate to earn an income. And there's nothing wrong with growing betel nut. You grow betel nut, but among the betel nut, you have to grow, grow other crops as well. So you can multi-crop. You grow the crops, so when the betel nut season is not good, you can still make money from your other crops. And Aniani is your company. It's 100% owned by the people of Central Province. We have designed and built, built up Aniani to help you so that you can have access to funds to grow your, 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 product, your, your, your farm. The central provincial government established business arm is buying the produce. It said that you cannot turn the ordinary, simple, innocent villager back with the produce. It's heartbreaking. So we have come in. Uh, it's very ad hoc. We've just been directed to come in and come up with a strategy how to complement this PMB restriction. This is welcoming news for some of the vendors. So this last side, I'm better going to have much more this last one because you're working easy life, no man, no come put your kaikai loya skelim na uba go pegan loya chal. The deal in tea is a good one, though. At one kina per kilo, those with hard food stuff like banana will get up to 80 kina, an estimated 50 kina more than the usual price in Port Moresby. Minus the usual abuse, plus they can return home right away on the same truck after buying essential supplies. It doesn't restrict them to go into the city to buy, but what we are doing is minimize your movement. You are better off, safer at the village at, at home. The food bought off by Aniani Corporation is resold to businesses in the nation's capital or is given as donation to the food bank. My vision is to see every district being developed 
to growing a specific cash crop, and that is also strategic in terms of branding. This is rolled out through the one crop per farmer, one crop per district. We have already allocated about to grow cocoa, Rigo to raise livestock, Kairuku to grow rice, and Goilala to grow coffee. When you're driving to Goilala, which we're pushing coffee, we want you to know that Tapini is a coffee town. You see, it's driven by coffee. When you go into Kairuku, Hiri, and you drive into Berenice Station, I want it to be known as the rice town of Central Province. And likewise, we go, it will become the cattle town or the cowboy town. We have the basic infrastructure, infrastructures in place, but you will see that there's no quality in them. And to build the quality of this infrastructure, you need money to do it. And that's where the economy comes in. We need good health systems. You can't drive a good health, health system with the type of money that's coming down from the national government. You can't drive a good quality education system with the type of money that's coming down from the education department. So as a province, we need to develop and drive our own economy and build up our own world so that we can then siphon this type of funds into these sectors to actually start building up on the quality of it. So the economy is our number one focus and it's captured in our, our smart roads plan. Furthermore, to support our farmers grow their crops, my government has already liaised with the department of personal management to create over 100 positions for agriculture technical support. These officers will be permanently based in the districts. Furthermore, Governor Agarobe has said that whilst most institutions like village and district courts are still dysfunctional, there are plans to revive these institutions. Then you have the district again. The districts too have been you know, dysfunctional for a very, very long time. So my job now is to make sure that we revive a lot of these institutions that have been set up under law to manage and mitigate and look after the affairs of our people. So that's what we've been doing in the last 16 months. The watermelon that you eat, the coconuts that you drink, the fish that you eat, the maharis that you eat, these are God's blessings. And if you look at a smart plan, we have captured the Bible by driving agriculture to the sports. Agriculture is Eden. God's given Eden to us. God said, you look after Eden, Eden look after you. And to protect that blessing, we have put tourism in place. Tourism is about conservation, protection, and good management. So we protect God's blessings. And sports is about physical well-being. The body is the church. program that needs to be put in place to drive it. We want everybody in Central Province to start speaking the same language. My people of Central Province, as landowners, you will need to utilize the land if you wish to experience any economic benefit. Utilize your land today so that you, your children, and your grandchildren can benefit from this in their lifetime.